E85, it has a higher octane rating than even premium grade gasoline and at a lower price per gallon. Sounds too good to be true, right? And I survived the switch to E15 in NASCAR. So let's take a look at some test results and research into how ethanol affects motor oil and engine wear. And since regular gas contains up to 10% ethanol, and in some cases up to 15% ethanol, this data applies to everyone, especially if your engine has a carburetor. Back in 2011, NASCAR switched from leaded fuel to E15, 15% ethanol. And at Joe Gibbs Racing, we went from basically never having to rebuild carburetors to having to rebuild carburetors after every race. The reason for that was that we didn't run the same carburetor every single week. We had carburetors for specific racetracks, and because you didn't run those same tracks every single week, the carburetors would sit in storage before the next race when it was needed. And it was while the carburetor was in storage that the ethanol impacted the metals in the carburetor, which changed the performance of the carburetor, which is why we had to rebuild them after every race. And we saw the same thing with my dad's vintage go-karts. If we used E10 fuel to flush the carburetor after the race, we ended up having to rebuild the carburetor at the next race because the fuel diaphragm wouldn't work as well. So we even had to switch to non-ethanol fuel to flush these old vintage cart engines to make sure the carburetors would stay good. So why do we see these issues with ethanol and our carburetors? It's because ethanol is a type of alcohol. In fact, it's grain alcohol, which can be derived from corn which is why ethanol became really popular several years ago as a way of having a renewable fuel. Unfortunately, they found out that it actually doesn't really work in the grand scheme of things. Ethanol is still part of our fuel supply in the US. Again, as little as 10%, all the way up to 85%, depending upon what type of ethanol blended fuel you have. And it's added to our fuel as an oxygen to reduce emissions. Now, that oxygen also increases the octane of the fuel. 